Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, I'm facing uh, that type of problems uh, during migrations when uh, I add, when I was add identity in my applications. Uh, during migrations, I face that type of problem. Exception has been thrown by the target of an invocations. Exception has been thrown by the target of any vocations. I mean to say that Microsoft Entity Framework Core that version was updated that is 5.0. You know you have to notice that that package is framework 5.0, identity UI package 3.1.10, and SQL Server 5.0 also. So the 5.0 is updated version or the stable version updated uh, you can say. So uh, that is the older project that is hotel booking project um, and matched with the newly created application web web application 4 you have to notice that in hotel booking project i have noticed that the older version of uh, or you can say that identity suitable version that is the 3.1.2 asp.net core.identity.entity framework core version 3.1.2 but the latest version is 5.0 so just convert it first of all and after that you have to see that sql server is 3.1.5 but let latest version is 5.0 so one by one uh, first of all change all these uh, updated version and uh, see that output will be uh, is okay with the previous uh, with the previous versions of uh, packages so that type of uh, that type of error actually related to the assembly of packages uh, that is a version issue you can say that it's a not uh, compatible with the uh, higher version so just send that uh, bugs information to the microsoft uh, so that uh, that they will be solved easily in the latest versions so uh, if you face that, that type of problems so please uh, how to fix that type of problems during uh, by changing the updated version uh, of uh, your packages like the Microsoft ASP.NET Core.SQL Server packages, Microsoft ASP.NET Core.Identity Framework Core packages, and many more packages you have to install into your into your applications. So one by one, I have to change uh, according to the according to my uh, previous projects, and uh, I'm facing that type of problem uh, during the latest stable version. So. Uh, if you are facing that type of problems and if you want to run your project in older versions of packages so that type of problem solutions will uh, uh, you have here so because uh, that i know that that packages is not um, preferable because the latest and a stable version of packages is also available but i have facing that type of problem exception has been thrown by the target of any vocations due to that problems uh, i just uh, recreated my uh, uh, or you can say that re applications uh, uh, restored my package with the older versions so again i am facing that type of problems because the sql server uh, project a sql server uh, sql server package will not restored with the previous older version you can say so just I, I, uh, I have to open my uh, edit uh, project file, add CS project file and you can see that SQL server uh, version is 5.0. So just uh, change that version with the older version and that older version is 3.1.5 actually. So in a hotel booking system you have to notice that SQL server is 3.1.5 is working. So you have to change that. First of all, SQL Server that is 3.1.5. So, okay, and update it. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, just have just you have to change that packages and run your uh, uh, migration again, and you your problem will be solved easily. Undo this section and remove migrations. That is problem solved easily, and. After that, you have to uh, use update database command. So, fix exception has been thrown by the target of an invocation problem by just updating your packages. So, uh, I'm facing and I'm fixing that problem in my computer. 
so that migration is enabled and you have to uh, not that packages microsoft identity framework uh, core identity entity framework core 3.1.2 3.1.5 3.1.5 3.1.5 .1 tools serve sql server and ui packages so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and please subscribe my channel uh, channels and also uh, share this video and like this video thank you very much for watching